Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look and today we are totally checking out the brand new NECA Toys Ace Ventura Pet Detective based on the old 1995 animated series of the same name which is of course based on the movie of the same name. Packaging is great, very bright, very colorful, very cartoony. You can count on me to rescue your missing pets post haste and without error guaranteed and I am on the case. Alrighty then, I feature alternate and sassier head as well. I like that they gave two alternate head portraits. These are hitting Target stores now. Here's the barcode if you want to look at it. And again, as I previously mentioned, this is based off the 1995 to 1997 animated series that was on CBS. And yes, he even crossed over with the mask animated series. Not the best animated series will just say it's fun to have this now but really it's the nostalgia factor for me and knowing uh, yeah, I, I did watch this cartoon but I never thought the best thing ever it was more so like I loved Ace Ventura the movie so here's something else Ace Ventura Jim Carrey so sit back relax grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee this is a look at the brand new NECA toys Toonie animated Ace Ventura from the animated show, 1995. Alrighty then, here he is all out of the packaging and it's exactly what was shown at Toy Fair in 2020. And it's Ace Ventura in cartoon form. Not a whole lot of articulation to this guy, but what it lacks in articulation, it definitely makes up for in sculpt, color, and design. This is going to be one of those toys that sits at your work desk or just permanently on display. I like that he did come with an alternate head. It's the cartoon come to life. Not the best look. He kind of looks mean in this head portrait. It's not the ideal one. I totally think the alternate head is a lot better. But again, it is spot on to the cartoon. In terms of just how this guy looks and stands and everything else, I'll show you. He comes with the stand, which is the alligator, which in the design sense, I like. And this is again from the cartoon, cell shaded. So I definitely dig it. And Ace Ventura is no different. Bright yellow Hawaiian shirt. He's got those pants that are ridiculous minor articulation for this guy the arms really at the cuffs of the shirt down to the boots those will twist they actually help in standing him putting him on the back of the gator is cumbersome in some senses you have to work with it to really get it going but the sculpt on this one the the head portrait is fantastic i do have a few mishaps with the paint which are kind of noticeable here and there, especially on the hair. Spike the monkey, he just fits arm much as the white pigeon from the first movie. There's holes in the arm, they just simply peg in. So it's not meant to be an overly articulated figure, it's meant to be, you pose him and it's done. The pigeon is awesome, straight from the first movie. That's always a good laugh. The head is on a ball joint, it'll go to and fro, display him in the various Ace Ventura looks. Now, I totally wish that this was a lot more articulated. I think that would have been really cool to have a more articulated Ace Ventura cartoon style. Sadly, it's not what we got, but I get what they were going for. And for the amount of articulation that he has, it works. Switch out the heads, just pop it right off. As you can see, it's a simple ball joint. And you just put the other head on. Now, in traditional NECA fashion, and I know a lot of people don't like this, heat it up a little bit before you do so. Just FYI, you don't want to break anything. But yeah, to push this all the way down, you're going to need to heat it up. As I said, I do like the more open mouth head. I think that's a lot more Ace Ventura. Yeah, the cocky kind of, you know, I guess it's kind of mean head, to be honest with you. But I love the alligator on this. I knew exactly what I was getting with this figure. He's not overly articulated. He's exactly a display piece, something for your office desk, something you just kind of sit there. You have a good laugh when you see it. The cartoon has some nostalgic feels, kind of, sort of, but I do enjoy this and I do hope NECA makes a mask figure in that animated form to go with this. I think that that would be fun. In terms of his height, he's around the Toonie Terrors sort of deal. You can kind of fudge him with other different lines and such. 
yeah, he's around that five, five and a half inch, especially with the hair. But in all sense, I'm glad they gave him a bunch of animals. I like the design aspect of the stand standing on the crocodile alligator. That's pretty cool. And the alternate head portrait. You do get alternate looks of the character and it's always better than just getting one. Coloring, the paint, everything for the most part rocks. I highly recommend it if you're an Ace Ventura fan. If you have no idea what this is, yeah, it's a total pass. But I'm curious to know what you guys think about this figure. Do you have them? Do you need to get them? Did you watch the animated series? Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Ace Ventura. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, why don't you cry about it? Saddlebags. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Yes!